What's up, everybody? It is Luca Brasi. So for the fitness snippet this week, I wanted to talk briefly about contest prep, okay? And, you know, the difference between a regular diet, like maybe a contest diet, and just some recommendations if you are going to prep, whether it be for a show or your personal, you know, the photo shoot or whatever it is that you're prepping for, okay? I just want to go throw out a little bit of advice, okay, as far as prep goes. Now, prepping is obviously way more strict than your everyday life and dieting and training regimen, okay? So I always recommend if you're going to do a prep of any kind, seek out someone who has done it before or someone who coaches people, you know, regularly on contest prep and things like that. So I myself, I've never done a bodybuilding show, but I have done prep, like contest type prepping, okay, for different things, whether it be a video shoot, a film, or a photo shoot, or whatever, okay, um, I don't do it on the regular so much anymore, because I don't like to put myself through that kind of torture, okay, the way, <laughs> the way that I used to, okay, so I, I don't go, like, quite as strict as I, I did at one point, but um, what the one thing I just wanted, to, I wanted to say was, um, you need to speak to somebody who knows what they're doing it's, with fitness in general you have to do that but especially with something like as strict as contest prep is okay or any kind of prep you need to really get at guidance from someone who knows what they're doing and has done it or does it on a regular basis or blah or whatever you know so the majority of it comes down to the training intensity and the diet okay generally training sessions are usually more intense okay when you're when you're prepping for a contest or something there's no time to screw around it's not lackadaisical you got to get into the gym or wherever you're you're working out and get you you got to get down to business okay and lots of times uh people will obviously lower their calories and things like that which means your energy is going to be lower in the gym which makes it harder to go and more intense you know and lots of times like uh the last like week you, some people don't even work out. They just work on their posing. They work on the, you know, they have to drop water weight, the dehydration process. And the best way is to really speak with somebody that knows what they're doing, especially the, like the last like few weeks of a prep where you're dehydrating and you're, you're cutting calories and cutting carbs and adding carbs back in when they need to be in. And it gets, it can get very complicated and time consuming. So like I said, if you're going to do this, okay, try to get with somebody who knows what they're doing. and can give you the right kind of guidance. Okay. Cause there is a lot that goes into it and also it goes into the dieting okay the diet is super super strict very very intense strict dieting when it comes to the contest stuff so i just want to leave that there with you guys tonight okay this is your boy luca brassi signing out i'll see you guys next week peace and pow